Hey guys, it's Autumn, and today I am going to be introducing you to my new pets. I have some new additions to my family. I have been so excited to show you guys, and I'm so excited as well because you might notice that my mic sounds better, and I have a new lens, and things are just, things are just great. Things are just so great. So I'm very excited to introduce you to my new pets. Let's get right to it. No long intros. Let's go. So the first one I'm going to show is Pumpkin. She is the newest mouse addition to the family. Let's see, will you focus? This is the beautiful Pumpkin. Pumpkin is a gorgeous angel. Well, I acquired Pumpkin from a friend that I work with, <clears throat> or I did work with. She had a bunch of different mice, and they all kind of came from the same litter, as far as I know. And so she got this one later, and all the others passed. So rather than getting a few more, because she just was so heartbroken, she sought me out, because she knows I really like mice. And that is how I acquired little Bumpkin here. The biggest fatty. I am absolutely freaking obsessed with how cute and fat she is. But she's a really good baby. I woke her and her new sisters from their sleep, so she's not the most happy. They all cuddle together, they all sleep together, they are so awesome. Their pineapple that they sleep in is big enough for all of them, and they love it. They all sleep together because they're babies. That's Pumpkin, and she is beautiful. So this next one is a rescue. This is Quasimodo. He is a bearded dragon, and if you look at him, you will notice he has an S-shaped spine. He's very uh, bony, his ribs stick out. And he, he just doesn't look so good. I was told that he's a year old. Uh, I don't really want to bring Venus out, but I'll insert a clip of her here. And as you can see, Venus is significantly bigger for being a year old. So Venus is healthy. Venus has received the right nutrients. But Quasimodo here, not so much. Um, this is what I believe to be a uh, metabolic bone deficiency, which is more commonly seen in chameleons. It's pretty hard to do this to a bearded dragon, but the owner successfully did it. He's really unhealthy. He can't move. He can't get food on his own. He can only eat worms like mealworms, superworms, hornworms. He just, he can't get crickets anymore. Um, he also loves salads, which is funny considering the owner told me, oh, he hates veggies. I don't think she tried. Um, his UVB bulb, UVB bulb that I was given was still on, but clearly not emitting the right rays that he needed, and he clearly has the worst calcium deficiency. So he's doing much better, believe it or not, than when I received him. However, he still looks horrible. I gave him water when I first received him, and he drank it for about five minutes so much that he threw up. Um, I'll probably make a whole separate video on him and kind of just do like a whole time-lapse video of care for him. He's really great. He has a great personality. I feel so bad for him and I hate that he's been forced to go through this for a year or so of his life. I don't really know. I just want the best for him. So right now he's receiving lots of food, lots of veggies, lots of calcium, and then I've been giving him liquid calcium as well. But yeah, even his jaw is crooked. Everything about him is just crooked. He's my little Quasimodo. He's my hunchback of Notre Dame. He, he's uncomfortable. I'm gonna go put him back now. This is one of my new tanks. It is a five and a half gallon tank, a five gallon tank. It has nothing in it except for feeder guppies. As you can see, it's pretty overcrowded. This is a temporary setup for them. And with these feeder guppies, they're not staying in here. We just put them in here for now. I'm not really quite sure what John wants to put in here afterwards. It was pretty much just some aquascaping that he wanted to get done. But yes, these are our feeder guppies. Right, one of our new tanks. Very cute. And this is the shrimp tank. I don't quite know where all the shrimp are. But some of them are very small. But this is our shrimp tank. I have to get at least one shrimp. Surely I can find one. Um, we do have a few mystery snails in here. He floated down. There's the other mystery snail. There's a few horn snails in there too. 
but I'm not seeing the shrimp. There's two fish, two fish and only two fish. There's a shrimp. We have encountered a shrimp, but there's all kinds of different colored shrimp in here. This also has live plants and they're probably hiding in all the plants and on their wood. They love hiding there and they love hiding in their like little tunnels. So yeah, sorry, it's not that exciting, but those are the shrimp and the snails. Next is, this is a very new and small setup, so I apologize for the way it appears to look. He will be getting an upgrade, but this is Tuna. He is my rainbow, okay, let me, hold on, let me get this straight. He's a, <laughs> a Madagascar rainbow rock lizard. That isn't the scientific name. I can't remember the name that they're more commonly referred to, but that is what I was told he is. He's a rainbow rock Madagascar lizard or something along those lines. I have found that he's pretty hard to hold. When we got him, he was pretty old. We weren't told how old he is, but he is an older guy. So he's just a little harder to hold. Um, he's really sweet. He hasn't nipped. He hasn't done anything really. He just kind of chills and does nothing. And has a good time because he's a lizard. So yeah, there's Tuna. The map, but these are my two Madagascar hissing cockroaches. So let me see. I want to say this one right here that has that reddish color, that is my male. And the one facing me is female. I'm pretty sure that's my male. I can't tell when they're like this, but their names are Murdoch and Sparrow. Murdoch is the male, Sparrow is the female. Like I said, I wanted to take them out, but they always just stay right there. They're very hard to take out. They just nestles them little selves in and that's where they reside and that's where they stay and they're happy doing so, so I'm not gonna disturb them. But yes, those are my Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They don't really do a whole lot. Probably gonna be uncomfortable for her, but she is my last. I actually don't know if this pet is male or female yet. They didn't tell me when I got her, but this is my beautiful ferret. She is the last of the new additions to my family. And look how beautiful she is. She's so small. She loves being held. She's a big baby. Oh, honey. So yeah, I've been going by she because I don't think I see the little penis on the belly. I'm not sure, I don't think so. She is not very old. She's awesome, she gets along well with all the cats. They love to chase each other around and play. She is super rambunctious and I absolutely love her. She's a little nibbler and a little licker. Uh, you will be definitely be seeing more videos of her. She has been such a great addition to the family and she is so social, she loves to be held. And she's like a little toddler running around. She's so awesome. So, yes, my first ferret, she's fantastic. I got her just not even a week ago. And she's just amazing. I see you're amazing. You're amazing. But this bright light is probably killing her poor little pink eyes, so I'm gonna put her away. And by put her away, I mean just on the floor. She has free range of the space. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support I got from the last video and I figured I'd do an update of the more recent pets. I wanted to end this video by giving a sort of tribute to one of my pets that has actually passed since the last video and that is Parsley. Um, Parsley, I loved her with more than words can even begin to explain. There was lots of ups and downs with her. Considering I did get her as, as a rescue as well. I got her back two legs amputated and I knew in the last video she wasn't looking the best um, She kind of burrowed herself into my hands more and she kind of fell into my palm She wasn't as bright and alert as she normally is uh, so I just Wanted to insert some footage here at the very end the few videos I have of her while she was looking good some pictures and just make this my little tribute to parsley she was the best winter white hamster I've ever had or I've ever encountered. She didn't bite. She was sweet. She loved to cuddle. And I really miss her. Um, but, you know, when you have a lot of pets, this is something you go through inevitably. And it never makes it easier. Um, it's still just as hard. Even if it is just a little mouse or a hamster, which seems to be what I've mostly encountered, it's still just as difficult. And I, I struggle with that. 
I do, especially when I get them as rescues and I help them kind of get back on their feet. Sorry, Parsley. She will be getting cremated soon like Basil. I'm not sure when I'll be able to do that, but I am getting her cremated. Thank you so much for watching this video and for your support. I would love to hear feedback from you, and if you have any name suggestions for this baby, please love them down, leave them down below. I'm thinking zero, like zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas, because I feel like that's pretty androgynous, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like zero? What do you think of her? Isn't she awesome? I hope you enjoy the next few clips, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!